Hey, my name is Casey and welcome to this e-commerce email and SMS YouTube channel. In this video, we'll be comparing two popular email marketing platforms for e-commerce stores, MailChimp and Clivio. If you're wondering which is best for you, keep watching. I'll tell you everything there is to know about both platforms. So by the end of this video, you'll be able to make an informed decision. If you're new to this channel, my name is Casey and I'm the founder and CEO of Flack & Co Agency. We help seven and eight figure e-commerce brands maximize their revenue from email and SMS, often growing it by two to five X. So I really know what I'm talking about when it comes to e-commerce email platforms because I live in them and I can't wait to share all of that with you. Make sure that you like this video and subscribe to the channel to get the most helpful videos about email and SMS recommended to you. If you do email right, about 30% or more of your total e-commerce revenue should be coming from email. The e-commerce accounts that we manage usually hover at 30 to 35% email revenue on a regular month and go to 50 to 60% email revenue during holiday months of November, December, and May. This is to say that email is super important for your e-commerce business. So obviously you want the tool that allows you to get these kinds of results, track them, and make all of that easy for you and your team. Of the two platforms we're looking at, for the majority of people, MailChimp will be the cheaper option because if you have fewer than 2,000 subscribers, it's free. But my guess is that you'll probably have more than that. And if you want to make some serious profit, you'll have to keep growing your list actively. That is what Klaviyo is for. Literally, their tagline is, other email softwares for sending emails, Klaviyo is for making money. And if you run an e-commerce business, like all of our clients, Clavio will be geared more to you because it was specifically designed for e-commerce. They understand your business, your goals, and make tools that help you achieve those. While MailChimp was designed for anyone to easily get going with sending emails. So while MailChimp favors simplicity, Clavio is more about honing in on exactly what you want. Now let's see these two software tools face off. Round one, pricing. Fight. There is a reason why most people start off with MailChimp when it comes to email marketing. With a free tier of up to 2,000 contacts, it's hard to say no. With Klaviyo, on the other hand, the only free tier you get is up to 250 contacts. And the higher you go, MailChimp is still cheaper. Plus, with MailChimp, you get tools to help you build a website, ads, landing pages, surveys, and more. All of it is quite basic, but having it all in one place is great for starting out. So in terms of pricing, MailChimp is the winner. Quick question, what is the most important factor for you when you're choosing the email platform? I would be super curious to find out, so please let me know in the comments. Round two, automation. Fight. At Luck & Co, we believe that around 15 to 20% of your online sales should come from automated emails, or flows as they're called in Clavio. I've covered the most important flows you should have in your account in another video on this channel. It should pop up in the corner right now. Since Clavio was built specifically for e-commerce businesses, you can find dozens of flows pre-built for you there, together with the timing you need, flow restrictions, and even some email content. MailChimp recently caught up with automation, but it still doesn't hold a candle to Clavio because it's not as intuitive, it's hard to set up, and it's simply too generic. You don't get the amount of freedom in terms of what you can do with automations with MailChimp. And I believe that you simply wouldn't be able to get to 15 to 20% automated email revenue because of that with MailChimp. So the winner in this round is Clavio. Round three, segmentation. Fight. I'll say it right now. Hands down, Clavio is the king of segmentation. Sure, you can create some basic segments with MailChimp, but very soon they will feel too limiting and not specific enough. Just as one example, let's say I wanted to create a segment of people who bought one of my best sellers in the past year, but didn't shop during my big sale this week. Let's try to set that up in MailChimp. I'm able to start with the product purchase in this segment, but I can't specify the timing of when these two products were purchased. That is already a big miss because timing is everything in e-commerce. Furthermore, now that I want to add the and condition to specify that the user also hasn't bought in the previous week, I can't do that because I need to choose one of the connectors or, or and for the whole segment and I can't vary that. Let's contrast this with the segment building experience in Clavio. The logic of options is better here from the start. And the fact that I can search for events as opposed to only choosing from a list significantly speeds up my process. 
I choose what someone has done, placed order at least once in the past 365 days. And as you can see, I'm completely free to choose the timing here. And then with filters, I specify that I only want to see people whose order included one of these two products. After that, I click and, once someone has done, placed an order zero times in the past seven days. Or you could specify a concrete time window here. And we're done. We've just created a pretty advanced segment in less than a minute. Klaviyo might seem complex at the beginning, but as you grow, you're going to need that level of complexity and sophistication to really make the most of email as a channel. Also, when you create these segments, MailChimp counts subscribers that appear on several segments as separate contacts, and Klaviyo doesn't. This means you could end up using your contact allowance a lot faster. So is MailChimp pricing really better? As you grow, it's going to get more and more important that you're segmenting people based on things like their purchase history, their interests, their engagement. And since Klaviyo has a native integration with Shopify, it makes your life that much easier. MailChimp can only be integrated with Shopify through a third-party tool, which is not as reliable and will block you from doing really great things with email. So who is the winner? Obviously, Klaviyo. Round four, email builder. Fight. I would say that Klaviyo and MailChimp builders are similar in what they offer. It's kind of a matter of habit. Klaviyo builder seems more intuitive to me, but that's just because I'm used to it. MailChimp has recently released a new beta version of their builder, which is a sign that they're developing this part of their product. Overall, I would say that MailChimp and Klaviyo offer tools to create great looking emails. They have different names for different things, but all in all, I would say it's a tie. Last round, analytics. Fight. If you can't know exactly what you're getting right and what you're getting wrong, how do you improve at email marketing? Sadly, this is where MailChimp goes down for good. Why? When you're dealing with revenue, you should never have to settle for good enough or clear enough. I want to log in into my email platform, look at my emails and see exactly how much revenue each email made. Don't take me to reports to see this. No, this piece of information is essential to understanding email performance. So show it right next to the emails, next to all of the details and the email creative. When I log in into Klaviyo, that's exactly what I see. In addition to seeing how much revenue each email made, I can also see how much of my revenue is coming from email in relation to the overall revenue from my e-commerce shop. With MailChimp, I can't see this information anywhere. Klaviyo goes even further and creates a personalized benchmark report for you each month. They'll show you your main email metrics, such as place order rate, average order value, click rate, unsubscribe rate, and so on, and compare that to the metrics of your peers who are in the same industry and are a company of a similar size. All of that happens directly inside the platform, so you don't need to generate or export complicated reports. After a pretty short round, Klaviyo wins this one. Now, a bonus round for the viewers who stuck around. Klaviyo now offers SMS messaging, while MailChimp doesn't. SMS marketing is the newer, big hot thing in e-commerce marketing, and it's not unlikely that MailChimp will offer it at some point later. However, the time to do SMS is now. With the iOS 15 update, when open rates are not as trackable as before, you want to diversify your channels and have an option of quick access to your best customers. And that quick access is through SMS. And when you do, you'll want both email and SMS to be on one platform because it makes your life so much easier and your analytics that much more clear. So after multiple rounds, I think that the overall winner today is Gladio. After watching this, which platform are you going to choose? I'm super curious. Please let me know in the comments below. And of course, if you have any questions left, leave them there as well and I will definitely get back to you. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel to support me and my team in creating more free content like this. Keep investing in your own marketing. See you next time.